Let's talk about how to analyze words in the vocabulary research assignment for English 8. The analysis task is located right below the origin statement task, right here. Analyze the word for prefix, root, and suffix. Be sure to identify if the word contains multiple prefixes, roots, or suffixes. This is the model example and it contains some annotations that I will discuss, but do not forget this. Refer to skill number one in the vocabulary skills primer. You should always have access to this primer, which is available on my big campus. It shows each skill required for the vocabulary research assignments. The first page discusses word analysis and helps you understand what prefixes, roots, and suffixes are. This video tutorial will provide support for that. Make sure that you're reading that document to help you complete these assignments. On the sheet, you'll notice nine blanks three for prefix, three for root, and three for suffix. This does not mean that you are analyzing three words. It means that you are analyzing one word, but you may need more than one prefix blank or more than one root blank. My word is simple. It's recede. And I only need one prefix blank and one root blank, so that's all I use. I leave the rest incomplete. Re is my prefix, and seed is my root. How did I know that? Well, I can use the dictionary and I can use the information in the lesson itself. If you look at the lesson, you'll see what the root is for the day. Seed, seed, cess. I saw that seed, spelled C-E-D-E, -E, is a root in my word recede. So I typed that right there. If you see the root from the lesson very clearly in the word, you can type it into the root position. Re is obviously a prefix. I know that because I've seen this prefix in many other words in English. But what if I didn't know that? What if I didn't know whether this had one or more suffixes, or any suffixes at all? Let's take a look at a new word, processional. So I have my nine blanks. I could say, yes, I know how to divide this. This is fairly easy. But what if I didn't? Well, I can start with cess, which I know is a root because I've seen it in the lesson. Easy enough. But what about the rest? Pro may be a prefix. I-O-N-A-L may be suffix material, but is that one suffix or multiple suffixes? Let's check out the dictionary. Remember that this task can be helped by using the dictionary, especially the word origin section. Here, I see the word taken apart piece by piece. I understand that processional is actually procession with a suffix, al, added. So it seems that al is a suffix. That helps me understand. I can fill in al right here. You might say, yeah, but what about the ion? Okay, let's take a look further. I can always go further into the word origin by clicking on underlined words in dictionary.com. I'll go to procession. Oh. See, procession is process plus ION. It seems that ION is a prefix as well, or a suffix, sorry, as well. So I'll take AL out, put ION here, and AL here. They are two different suffixes. They were separated at different times in the origin analysis, so I place them in different blanks. This is not all one suffix. This is a series of suffixes, so I complete it in that way. I know what you're saying. Pro is obviously a prefix, but let me verify. I can verify by going one step further on process. Find the origin statement. And here I see that process is pro plus this seed root. I have verified that pro is a prefix. So I can go back. and type pro. Now it's finished. I have used four of the nine blanks. Let me stress something importantly. If you have completed this, you will have taken every single letter from your word and placed them here, but not more than one time. So, for instance, if I typed NAL as this suffix, that would be incorrect. Why? N only appears once here in the word, so it should only appear once in my analysis. I'll take that off. If 
if you have completed this properly, you should see the words spelled out letter by letter without missing any letters or repeating letters that shouldn't be repeated. Processional. It works. I've taken the word apart into prefix, root, and suffix and recognize that multiple suffixes exist. I've used dictionary.com to do that. Of course, if you feel that you know what the analysis is right off the bat, you could do that. But it doesn't hurt to check your work. Just like math, there is a process for checking your work in word analysis in English vocabulary. Use the dictionary to do that, and you will be able to analyze a word quickly and easily. Ask questions in class if you have further concerns, or enter them into a discussion on my big campus.